the Bible says for Paul and Cyrus when they were in the place of the training they did not get discouraged but they put in the will the weapon of praise even as you go through the full course of your leprosy I came in this place to tell you don't give up you just need to put your weapon of praise in position the devil broke your house but not your praise the devil took away your job but not your praise the devil messed your relationship but not your praise I say the devil is playing games with your body but not your praise broke your bank account but not your praise I say the enemy is alive so when Paul and Cyrus prayed and praised the Lord opened the gates of the prison and the chains fall, uh, fell off the doors were opened opportunities were created for them to come out your leprosy ladies and gentlemen can put you in the prison the leprosy can put you in the place you don't like but Lord why will you always use the leprosy you know out of all the other sicknesses leprosy is so dangerous because when you are suffering from leprosy everybody will know you have leprosy they will look at your hands and they will ask and what is this they will look at your legs and they will know this is leprosy when they look in your face they will know this is leprosy I came in to talk to somebody who is going through something that you can no longer hide off you have tried to hide it you have tried to hide it but you cannot hide it anymore everybody around you they already know what you are suffering from praise the name of God it's like HIV you can hide HIV on the first stage you can hide HIV on the second stage but there is a stage ladies and gentlemen when you get to the stage of AIDS everybody will look at you and they will say you are a hey, you have AIDS praise the name of God and the last time I checked sometimes God will never show up until your problem has become like a shame it was a shame for Zachariah to be a priest in the temple and his wife is barren he's praying for other women in the church and they are giving birth but his own wife cannot give birth it was a shame ladies and gentlemen for Anna to carry an offering every seal worship and still handle something she could not bear it was a shame ladies and gentlemen for a man who is righteous to lose everything he had in his life until they looked at Job and said maybe you have sinned before God praise the name of the living God have you ever gone through something until you can no longer hide it they know you are jobless they know you don't have a house they know what you are dealing with I came in this place to tell you God is just growing you through it I will preach I will preach I don't like the way you are looking at me praise the name of God now listen to me ladies and gentlemen Jesus when he was about to die he said I'm now ready to be glorified this is the meaning of glorified glorified means going through your story glorified Jesus meant dealing with all the mockery dealing with all the enemies dealing with all that never liked him 
uh, going through these stories, the story to the Calvary, going through the uh, having people spit on him and mock him and say, You are the one who said you are the Son of God. But he says, I cannot be glorified if it is not through this way. Praise the name of God. And they were watching the Son of God going through the humiliation, going through pain, going through mockery. But Jesus knew there is no way I can be glorified if I'm not willing to go through what I'm going through right now. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, according to the book of Leviticus, if you have leprosy, you have to allow your leprosy to eat you properly. You are not in this place. The problem we have, we lack shortcuts. You will always work hard to find your way out of the problem. You don't even care the cost you are going to put in place. But Jesus said, if being mocked is the only way for me to be glorified, it's all right with me. If mockery is the only way for me to be glorified, it's all right with me. It's Facing me with the spear is the only way for me to be glorified. It's all right with me. If calling me a devil is the only way for me to be glorified, it's all right with me. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Jesus. And the truth is, everybody has his own story. Maybe your story is not like Anna. Your story is not like Zachariah. Your story is not like Jesus, but nevertheless, there is something you are dealing with. There is something you are handling. And even those people around you, they already know what it is. You try to hide it. You try not to talk about it. But they already know what it is. Praise the name of God. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. If your situation cannot embarrass you, you are not yet ready for the deliverance. I need somebody in this place. You have gone through it. You have dealt with it. And where you are standing, you are saying, I don't care. This is who I am. This is what I am. You can say what you want to say. You can talk all you want to talk. But this is who I am. I have leprosy. I have leprosy. And there is nothing you're going to do. Because according to the book of Leviticus, if anyone had leprosy, the leprosy had to eat the entire body. And if leprosy breaks out all over the skin, and the leprosy covers the skin of one who has the soul from his head to the foot, wherever the priest will look at this person come on preach the way I feel it tell your neighbor I have leprosy tell your neighbor that thing you hear them talking about me it is true I have it and when I come in the presence of God I don't want to pretend I want to be honest with God because I came in this place today to praise God and not to complain or mom about it for I had to grow through it and I no longer care what you wanna say it's just leprosy it's just leprosy can I prophesy there are people here it started with your head it went to your stomach it went to your legs and the season you are standing in it has already covered your body when the leprosy covers your entire body you will be declared clean i have nothing to hide i have nothing to fear my god will grow me through it shout ya someone 
Have you ever gone through something? You try.